Yo, what up, it's Don. Ah, Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. What up, man? Uh, KD, man, we got the new KD. We got the KD 10. A little comparison, quick comparison. Uh, and some of the differences. Yes. So, uh, let's get it started right off with the traction. Of course, they're both translucent. Um, yeah. I, I believe... That this is the first colorway that came out, right? Yeah. It is. Um, and yeah, this is translucent, and this is the first colorway that came out, and this is translucent. I don't know why, but Nike loves translucent outsoles. Or it's it's kind of weird, but uh, this has solid rubber uh, options, right? The yeah. KD10. I believe the 11 will have solid rubber uh, options, but um, I mean, the traction seems to be really really good on the 11. You see how much dust is yeah. picking up? Yeah, it's picking up a lot of dust, but it's, it seems to still be sticking. I've been play, uh, I've been playing in these, and uh, the traction seems to be good in the 11. The 10, not too sure, uh, but I mean, the durability seems horrible. Like it's 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 rubbing off. It's fraying it's, it's, like yeah. crazy. Yeah, so I mean, but. the KD 11 it doesn't seem to be fraying at all, and it's a lot thicker, so I feel like it'll be a little bit more durable also. Yeah. Um, but um, also the traction pattern on the 10 is just circles yeah. and on the 11 is like a, like a curvy wavy line I guess. Mm -hmm. It is multi-directional. So, um, but you know, there is that. Uh, moving on to the cushion, uh, the KD10 of course is using what KD has been using in his shoe for I think like two, two years, three years. Mm -hmm. KD8 started it off with the segmented falling zoom uh, and then uh, moved on to this type of setup and it is it's it's a crazy zoom unit it's super like bouncy it's one of the bounciest zoom units that I've ever felt right in the KD9 KD9 Elite and KD10 yeah. um the 11 switched it up a little bit and um, we will see from the dismantling but it is a full length zoom unit that's done basically like every single full length zoom model from like a long time ago. Right, yeah, yeah you know that zoom bag. Zoom bag yeah. Exactly. And then you have your React Mitzel, which is basically underneath the zoom unit, and then you have a rubber outsole, and then uh, that it, that is caging everything like yeah. crazy, uh, which is like I don't really like too much. Um, but the KD10, um, I don't know, man. To be honest, they mellowed it out a lot in the KD11, which I like, uh -huh. but. Um, yeah, see, in this colorway, this is painted over here. This is the yes. zoom bag here. Yes. Uh, in other colorways, it's exposed, I think, right? Yes. In the 10? Exactly. Um, anyways, that's not caged, right? So that's that's giving plenty of room for the zoom bag and, you know, the outside bubble to extend. And it's a lot more cushiony, I guess, from a Samsung. Yes. Um, I mean, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's pretty stiff, but I, I am breaking it. I can feel it a lot better now, but it's still nothing like... As crazy as it, the 10 or the 9. Which may be um, a good thing. Which may be a good thing, we'll see. Um, but that's just uh, the initial like comparison yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, like As far as insole goes, they're both plush and nice. Mm -hmm. Feels like uh, memory foam, like an ortholite. So step in comfort is nice, but uh, the KD11 is a little bit underwhelming. Especially since it has that React and I was very much expecting a crazy ass zoom in it. Like React with Zoom. The React, uh, I, I Is that think, the first option with React and Zoom? Yes, yeah. exactly it is. But then I thought it would be crazy, but it, as of right now, the React, I don't think does anything. Wow. Yeah, so. But anyways, it's just that. Moving on to the materials. The materials seem to be pretty damn similar. Yeah, you, know, you got right? your flying in, you got your flying yeah. in. This one feels a little bit uh, more canvassy or somewhere. It's just got a rougher texture. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, they both feel like the same. I mean, like the toe is pretty damn stiff, um, but it, it, the, my KD11 did break in, of course, and the KD10 is already broken in. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is getting a little bit softer. It does feel like it is glued down in the toe. Mm -hmm. So uh, they kept that basically the same. And then uh, it's a one booty fly knit upper, and you have the stretchy fly knit type of material yeah, in the middle. Thing. And then, um, I, but the thing is, like the 10, if you look at it, there's it, there's really nothing on the lateral side. Yeah. But then on the 11, if you look at it, there is. It's, it's kind of hard to see, especially on camera, but there is. You see that? 
there's a like a little panel on the side. Oh, see that? Uh, yeah, it's on the lateral yeah. side and also on the medial side. Um, to and then there's a there's also overlay on the outside a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this little synthetic overlay right mm -hmm. here, um, which I feel like cages you in a little bit better. Um, and of course, that was an issue for a lot of people. The lateral containment was not very good in the tens, but mm -hmm. the eleven seems to be okay uh, as of right now, and it seems to be. Um, a little bit more supportive but the materials overall like the design language and like uh, overall how it feels is basically the same like right. the, the upper you know yeah. so um flying it nice material not mad at it so uh there's that um the laces of course is different the kd10 has a crazy wide crazy thick rope lace yeah crazy thick rope lace and it's like super wide the laces go oh, all yeah, the way yeah. down to the edges uh, of the shoe and then the, the 11 is just your standard laces mm -hmm. and uh, the 11 has fly wire and then the 10 does not mm -hmm. fit seems to be pretty pretty much the same right yeah like long narrow, and narrow. Yeah. so if you have a narrow foot you should probably go down half a size if you have a normal foot if you if you don't mind having a little bit tight of a fit then um it should be fine width wise it is a little tight width wise if you have a normal width foot and if you're a white footer you probably stay away from these. And also, you have this like little pull tab right here in the 11. This cool. little plastic pull tab. Yeah. Uh, it is easier to put on. Uh, I don't know about the 10. It's not. It's not. It, well, it's a little annoying. It is. A little I feel like that's annoying. gonna be a little nicer yeah. having that little pull tab. The thing is, like in the back, this like rubs against my Achilles you know, uh, in the back. So like it's been rubbing some skin off, and yeah. it's like very tender and it hurts. Yeah. But um, it is breaking in and it feels a little bit better, but at, at first it was pretty bad. And then uh, aesthetics, they did, of course, change it up a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't really remember who, who designed this. Was it Leo Chain? I'm not sure if it was. I know or he was did it, the was, was it that, that Jason guy? Like the guy that designed the Kobe's? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was him. I, I'm not sure. It's one of those two, I think. Or yeah. maybe it was a new guy. Uh, but he, whoever designed this, changed it up a lot. Yeah. A like, lot. It looks nothing like that. Um, in hand, it looks the eleven looks a little bit better than it does in pictures, but still, it I don't really like how it looks yeah. too much. Or, or maybe different colorways will make me ch uh, change my mind, but I still think ten looks a little bit better. Yeah, for sure. Um, and also just like casually too, I feel like ten looks a little bit better. Yeah. But the eleven just looks like a weird ass row sheet. Yeah, it? it does. Yeah. So and tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics. What looks better down in the comment section below. Um, and also they kept the price the same, which is dope. Thank mm -hmm. you, Nike. 150 bucks. The Nike's best materials and de best technology still at a good price of 150. It's still a little expensive, but like, you know, a few years ago, prices were getting insane, up to 200 bucks. So uh, that's dope that they're doing that. But anyways, that's just a little initial comparison versus video will be coming soon, and the KD11 performance review will be coming soon. But uh, Tell us what you guys think, you know, uh, what do you guys think about the redesign of the KD-11 and what do you guys think about the tech and stuff like that and the differences. Um, but that's it, thank you guys for watching, we'll see you guys next time. Later. Week.